Hey guys, it's Milan or Milan B, and I'm here to make an update video. It's been a while since I've made one, so I just wanted to come here quickly and make one for you before it's too long that I don't make a video at all. So since my last video, I actually have not posted anything, have not taken pictures of anything, have not released any patterns, um, So and I have not worked on too much, but I have worked on some. So I guess let me show you guys first. If you have seen my last video, then you already have seen this one, this cowl. Is the one I showed last and this was a pattern for our last month it is a crocheted cowl using sock weight yarn of yeah sock weight yarn <laughs> a striped sock weight yarn as you can see more specifically so the whole concept behind this was that um, the reason I made two panels instead of just making this in one piece was so that each color uh, each color can do at least one strip across uh, as you can see, um, the colors are not, there's not much of one color, so it may not have gotten one stripe if I made it all in one piece. So anyway, that was a concept, and this is very easy. It's just double crochet, and you can very easily just do um, two panels and seam them together at the end. But what I did was I finished one panel, and then I connected the, the other one as I went. But again, you can do it either way. Again, very easy. I just did double crochet, as you can see. And I shared with you on my last video what yarn I used for this, but um, I, th if I remember correctly, I think it's called Diversity by Plymouth Yarn. It is very stretchy, as you can see. I love it. So this is what it looks like. Again, I have shown it to you during my last video, so you already know what it looks like or how it is. You can wrap it twice on your neck. And so for this pattern, again, I have not written it up or released it or anything yet, like I said. So I don't know when I'm going to get to do that. I just have been so slow recently. I think I lost my mojo as far as running up and sharing stuff with you guys on social media anyway. So since then, I made another one. I wanted to see what it looked like with a different yarn. This is the one I made. Uh, I made it about the same length. And it is the same concept. Um, this yarn is a little bit thicker than the other one though. So I must say that for this one, I made each panel 15 stitches across. The other one, I did 20 stitches across. But otherwise, again, same concept. Again, that's what it looks like. Very easy. Double crochet. Now, I was talking about making this. Um, this is a recipe as opposed to a pattern. Just because you can pretty much do it any you know with do it with any stitch um, as you know any length or any width I mean so many options right I'm still not sure which which way I'm going to write it up again since I did not do any of that yet well this yarn I have the wrapper for it as well let me see um, this is Peyton's Croy Sock and I used two skeins. This is the second skein. That's how much I have left. Probably not even a fourth of it left. Um, the colorway is Rusty Stripes. I really lo love the colors in that. So that is one of the items I was working on. And actually I made, um, I already did another pattern for this month. But also have not written anything up yet. Or anything like that. Uh, this one doesn't have a name, neither does the, the crochet one, to be honest. This is what it looks like. It's very simple. You have some ribbing, you have some stockinette sections here. And this section, if you can do yarn overs and knit together, you're pretty much set. Very easy, very simple. Now this one, I used um, DK weight for it. This, this specific yarn is a super wash yarn. You guys know I prefer cows that fit closer to my neck. So this is what it looks like. Um, also versatile. You can make it as as long as you want. If you want a longer cowl, you can make it as tall as you want. If you want a thicker one as well. So this is the striped version. Uh, this is the one I made first. I like it striped. However, it was kind of a pain to seam it together at the end because it left little gaps, little holes. Uh, this is the my second one, uh, which is not striped as you can see. And this one is just 100% um, wool. Also decay weight. And I must say that for these two, I blocked them uh, very well. 
uh, as you can see, both of the ends here are uh, ribbing. So without blocking, both of the ends would, would kind of, you know, cinch in like that. But again, I just wanted, wanted it blocked very well, um, just, you know, to be ready to wear kind of thing. So that's what it looks like. Now, I was thinking of doing a, either doing a, maybe for both, I guess I could do a crochet along and knit along for both. Uh, would anyone be interested? Um, I think I'm going to give myself until until the end of the month to write everything up and to get that decided. And next month I can either just release the patterns or tell you guys if I have decided to make a knit along and crochet along. Also, if you have any ideas for the names of those, that would be awesome. I do still plan to release one pattern per month. And again, I just, just lately I've just been really slow at actually releasing <laughs> releasing the patterns again last month i'm behind and this month i have not done yet like i mentioned so but th those two are it so uh if just in case if anyone would like to uh test the pattern just let me know as soon as i have it written up i can definitely send it over to you you can um comment down there uh in the in the comments in this video or you can either uh, message me on Facebook on my Facebook page or you can also email me directly um, or if you follow me on Instagram I am LMB you can also message me there as well um, once I take pictures of them both um, which I don't know when that will be but once I do I will be posting uh, probably on Instagram so I'll also post a reminder there as well if you, whoever if anyone wants to test them you know feel welcome to let me know um, now we can go a little bit into live stuff. Um, let me see. My last video I mentioned about my son starting school. Now, I didn't realize until uh, the open house, which was maybe a week before school started, that uh, my son was actually put in the afternoon class. Uh, they have two classes. They have one in the morning, which he was in last year. Uh, it goes somewhere from 9.30 to 12.30, something like that. And that worked out great for us because he's still napping. He was still napping. Um, and he actually was right before school started this year napping still. So that worked, worked out perfect because after he got home, he would eat a snack and then he would just go to sleep, you know, for nap, nap time. So this year he was put in the afternoon class, which kind of changed a lot for him, especially because uh, that afternoon class starts 1230 to 330, about 330. About and that means no more nap time since sleeping before that it's way too early for him he definitely wouldn't even be sleepy so that was a whole big change um now that he's definitely not sleepy anymore which i kind of feel bad about you know not making him sleep or not letting him sleep if he wants to now that i think he's settling down on his own uh, schedule for that he, I don't know if he's sleeping enough. Like during the day, he acts normal. Like he's normal, you know. He's he doesn't act upset or too tired or anything. So I think he is getting enough sleep. But the way it is now is like he goes to bed maybe like seven thirty on average. But on average, he wakes up like six in the morning. Where before he would go to bed. You know, any depending uh, whether he took a nap that day or not, he would go to bed maybe seven thirty. Uh, to the latest, he would he would go to sleep maybe like nine or ten at night uh, if he did take a nap. But his average of waking up was seven thirty in the morning. So now that this whole sleepy schedule kind of shrinked, um, you know, I'm like with a question mark whether he's sleeping enough. Although I don't see any signs that he's not. So, <laughs> uh, what else life-wise, guys? Um, I joined the gym recently. I know I mentioned I was going to check it out. Um, I did not get a personal trainer uh, yet, but I have joined the gym. So, I'm going there. I'm trying to go at least three times a week, if not more. They also have a pool, so that's a, also a pretty good option. It's going pretty good so far. I'm down uh, 10 pounds. Uh, my goal was to go at least 10 was to lose at least 10 pounds per month. So definitely have already met my goal this month, which is awesome. Um, what else? What else, guys? I was gonna mention something else, I know, but... <laughs> my son's upstairs. 
Okay, I think that's all for now, guys. I will definitely let you know uh, what happens with the patterns for the crochet and the knits uh, cowl. I'll, again, let me know if you're interested in uh, trying them out or uh, testing testing the pattern. And I will see you again soon. Bye.